We are going to learn how to create your own vector face in Photoshop. So let's get started. And I highly suggest you to follow along with this tutorial to get a better understanding of the process. The download link of this image is mentioned in the description. First we will cut out the face. Zoom in. Take the object selection tool. Create a selection on the face. It will automatically make a selection. Add a layer mask on it. Right click on mask. Apply layer mask. Now we have the cutout of the face. Let's add an adjustment layer of threshold. Decrease the level to something around 80 or 84. Actually we want to contain as much detail as possible from the image. Now while holding shift, select both layers and drag it towards the group icon. It will create a group, double click on it, rename it as low detail. Now select the group and drag it towards the new icon to create a duplicate group. Rename it as medium detail. Expand the group, double click on threshold to edit the value. Now we will increase the threshold level to get more details. And don't worry about the left part of the face, we will adjust it later. Right now focus on the right side of the face that have very less details. This is looking much better now. Now again drag the medium group to create a duplicate one. This time rename it as high detail. Expand the group. Increase the threshold level. Now we want to make some part of the ears to be visible. I think this much detail is enough. Now again create a duplicate group. Rename it as very high detail. Expand the group. Increase the threshold value until you get the outline for the ears. Now this much value is sufficient. Now hide all the groups except the low detail. As you can see, the face has very less details, so we will add detail group by group. First unhide the medium detail group, select it, zoom in. While holding alt or option, add a negative or black color layer mask on it. It will temporarily hide everything. Take the brush tool, choose the color white and paint over those areas where you want the details. And if you mistakenly add too much details, paint black color on those areas where you don't want the details. By default Photoshop have black and white color. Or you can press D for default colors and X to toggle between black and white color. It will make your workflow a lot more faster. Now unhide the high detail group. While holding alt or option add a negative mask on it. Now again paint white to get the details and black to hide the details. You can take your time in this process. And you know what is the good thing about the mask? You have full control over the layer and the groups without being destructive. Now unhide the very high detail group, add a negative layer mask on it and paint over it. You can switch between groups. Our main goal is to get a very good detail face logo. I think this is looking pretty good. Now press Ctrl or Command Shift Alt E to make a merge layer on the top. While holding Shift, select all group, press Ctrl or Command G to make a group, rename it as Face Details. Select layer 1, go to Filter. Stylize, Oil Paint. Set the stylization and cleanliness to 10. Rest of the value will be 0. Click on image to get a preview. You can see the line got softer. Before it was not so smooth. Hit OK. Now we want to remove the white color from this face. So to do it, go to select, color range. Pick the color white. Set the fuzziness level to 200. Hit OK. It will make a selection we just picked. Press delete and Ctrl or Command D to deselect. Now there is no white color in the image. Right click on layer 1, select pixels. Take the rectangular marquee tool, right click, make work path. Tolerance will be 1.0, hit OK. Now we just converted our selection into a work path, but it's not vector now. To make it vector, add an adjustment layer of solid color, choose the color black, hit OK. Take the move tool, hide the layer 1, and rename this vector layer as face vector. Now this is a vector face. You can scale it to any size. It will not get distorted. And also change its color to any color you want. Let's make it a presentable logo. Take the crop tool. Create a square. Right click. Crop. Add an additional layer of solid color right below the face vector layer. Choose whatever color you want. I will choose yellow. Hit OK. Zoom in. Take the text tool and type face vector. 
scale it up, place it in center. Let's change the face font color to black. Create a rectangle on the eyes, fill the color white and rotate it according to the eye level. Position it, scale it from both sides. I hope you learned something new. If you do, hit the subscribe button. Also press the bell icon for learning updates. My name is Shubham. Thank you so much for watching Graphic Arena.